Representatives from North and South Korea met Sunday in an effort to de-escalate tensions between the rival countries. North Korean delegate Kim Song-yi met with her South Korean counterpart Soon Hae-sung at the truce village of Panmunjom. This is the first official dialogue between the two countries in years. After 18 hours of discussion, both sides agreed to hold a higher level government meeting to discuss specific action. Voice of America reports Kim Sang-yi gave a brief press conference at the conclusion of the talks. Kim said both sides agreed to call the upcoming meeting an intergovernmental talk to discuss issues that should be resolved as soon as possible, such as the resumption of two stalled inter-Korean ventures in the north. One of those ventures is likely to be the Kaesong Industrial Complex complex, a jointly run facility that North Korea effectively shut down in April. An analyst for the BBC says Seoul will be looking for some substantive indications that Pyongyang is genuinely interested in continuing this diplomacy. South Korea wishes it to, uh, to cut the vicious cycle of the North raising military tension, a renewed dialogue only to face further brinkmanship. South Korean officials have expressed hope for a peaceful resolution to recent tensions between the two countries. As the Washington Post notes, at least this time it looks like they might make it to the table. The last time Seoul and Pyongyang met on the peninsula for formal talks in February 2011, North Korea's representatives abruptly refused to continue, and the North said its counterparts were scoundrels and traitors who had no interest in reconciliation. Those talks, too, had been designed to pave the way for a higher-level meeting. The next round of dialogue will reportedly take place in Seoul on Wednesday. For Newsy, I'm Bryce Sander.